Hi and thank you for joining me. In this video we are looking at a possibility space, a small specific little topic which looks at a method of looking at the number of possible combinations when we have two sets of choices. possibility space is something that we use when we are given two sets of information or two choices and we are looking to find all the possible combinations. Here's an example and I'm going to go through two or three different ones. We have here a typical type of question. Guests are having a meal and they have a choice of three different dishes for their first course and then two different ones for their second course. We want to look at all the possible combinations that guests could ask for. So here is our possibility space. It is in fact a two-way table. It has information along the top and also down the side. But if we combine the two sets of information, we are given the choices. For instance, a guest could ask for chicken for their first course and then cheesecake for their second. So that would be a combination, chicken and cheesecake. Another guest could also want the cheesecake, but ask for the fish as a first course. So their combination would be fish and cheesecake. And so on through the table. Once completed, we have any possible combination that a guest could ask for and we see there are six different combinations. Here's another question where the answer looks a little different. Jenny is going to buy two different types of bread. So the options, and here we are again similar to the last question, the options are white, wholemeal and granary. Write down all the combinations she could buy. You could of course do this without a table, but if you're going to use a possibility space, this is what it would look like. The combinations here, well the first box is white and white. Now the issue here is that the question clearly says she's going to buy two different types of bread. So in fact she cannot buy two white loaves. Similarly, the box here would be wholemeal and wholemeal. Again, that is not what she's going to buy. And the third one in the bottom corner here, she's not going to buy two granaries. So you would actually have blanked out spaces here. The other options are all then valid. In this box here, she could choose the first loaf to be a wholemeal and the second one to be white. Similarly, the second box here could be a granary with a white. The completed box would look like this. Now of course as well as the blanked out boxes you will also notice that in fact the boxes are duplicated because we have a granary with white here and we have a white with granary here. Similarly white wholemeal, wholemeal white and the two at the bottom here are the same. It depends on the question as to how you would answer this because of course you wouldn't need to put each combination twice unless it was a question asking you to put things in order. And finally just to cover a very typical type of question, Sam needs to choose a male and a female player from his tennis team to play in a mixed doubles match. Below we have the members of the team and you have to list all the combinations Sam could choose. We treat this in exactly the same way. The female players are down the side here, the male players are along the top, and that gives us a space in the centre to write down the possible combinations. So in exactly the same as we did before, Sam could choose Ahmed and Sue, and so on along the box. I think it's fair to say that questions like these do not necessarily need a table. This tutorial is more to understand how a possibility space can be presented. But of course, going back to our tennis here, if you simply wanted to work out the pairings by writing them in a list and going Ahmed and Sue, Ahmed could play with Aisha and so on down the list so that you would have Louis and Sue, Louis and Aisha, John and Sue, John and Aisha as a list, you would get full marks in an exam. A table is simply one option 
to help you answer this type of question or in a situation where you are actually asked to draw a possibility space table. And that's as far as we need to go with a possibility space. Thank you for joining me. Uh, please hit the notifications button and of course, subscribe below here. Thank you.